What's going on guys? We have a very different video today. Normally I am showing you my designs, my custom designs, but this is my son's Aero Scout that I'm very fond of because it's one of the best uh, beginner, starter, even to expert. I mean, people have, this is like a cult classic plane here. Um, and I, I modeled some EDFs for it. Uh, I, I'm the EDF guy. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of prop planes, as you guys know, and uh, and I wanted to do this. Actually, one of the guys from the Aero Scouts Facebook group asked me if I'd be willing to do something like this. So uh, I took him up on it and I modeled some EDFs. So this is uh, a twin 40 millimeter X-Fly EDF setup like uh, um, on all my planes. Um, it's running a 1500 4S splitter and two 20 amp ESCs, you can see there. And oh, it closed before, there we go, it's just a little plug here. And it balances perfect with a 2200 and it balances perfect with a, um, a 1500. So you're gonna get different flight times uh, that way, and it, there are no modifications. The wires go in the little hole in the back here, and you can see from the back, you just use some, a little bit of hot glue to uh, to attach the nacelles to the fuselage. So let me just show you real quick how this works, so I don't have to make another video. Oh, it's it's doing its thing because it's upside down. So basically, you line the nacelle up with this this line in the wing. Sorry, <laughs> I'm gonna have to do this vertically. So you you install, you're gonna glue one on at a time, and you are going to line up, don't, don't use the decals as a, a perfect reference because they could be not even on each side, but basically the, the top of the nacelle touches the wing, and then the, uh, the vertical part of the nacelle in the back, the exhaust, is lined up with this parting line in the in the back of the wing here. It's like where, where the aileron um, slice is. You can't mess it up. And it just, it, it's perfectly contoured to the, uh, to the fuselage, so it's perfect. And then the, uh, you just need extension wires. So that's really it. This is gonna be the maiden flight. I'm hoping for a good flight here. And uh, I'm happy to get this out to you guys. I'll put it on my Colts page for a couple bucks. And uh, I want to make more stuff like this. I think it looks really cool. It looks like it's factory. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Uh, let's see, hold on. Right. I just want to make sure. All right. Yeah, feels good. All right, ready? Let's see what we got. Into the wind. Easy peasy. <laughs> a lot of power. Okay, uh, this is fantastic. Oh, I forgot how much I love this Aero Scout. And I gotta be honest, guys, this thing, I love it even more now that it's an EDF. Look at that. That's 20%, uh, 30% throttle. Let's find out where we can cruise around at. 40%. Okay, so you can cruise around at 40%. I'm at 40% right now. I'm actually climbing. Oh, wait, where am I? Yeah, no, that's 50%. Okay, so 50%. Look at that. That's off throttle. And she's gonna float. Just floating, floating. This is why we love the Aerial Scout. Look at that thing. That's full throttle. So I bound the Aero Scout to my personal radio, and I I want I got to figure out how to take it off of gyro because I want to be able to like do loops and stuff. I don't know how to turn it off. Let me see if I can flip this switch here. Not when I'm looking at the sun though. Hold on. Ready? Oh, there we go. There we go. Now the gyro's off. Now the gyro's off. Now I can play. <laughs> Let me bring it in closer for you guys. I haven't flown this thing in a while. 
That sounds so cool. It's a jet. <laughs> That's 60%. That's 100. <laughs> Loop. Roll. <laughs> so cool. So cool. What a great plane. My son is gonna love flying this thing. Another loop. Super nice, guys. Wow. All right, so I'm gonna throw the 2200 in here to show you guys that a 2200, oh, I just got stuck in the wind. I think I'm a little tiny bit tail heavy, which is fine. Um, all right, cool. And taxiing is way better. Taxiing is awesome with the EDFs because the power is coming from lower. So it's not pushing the plane, like it's not putting the nose down. You can actually drive the thing around like an RC, uh, like an RC vehicle on the ground. All right, let me grab, uh, let me grab my 2200. Uh, you know what, let me just verify that I have, where's my, I don't know, I'm not gonna do this right now. Okay, let's get the 2200 in here and get up a quick flight. All right, I'm going to put the 2200 back a little bit. It is cold. I've got some wind. It's not too bad. It was much windier earlier. All right, 2200 fits. Okay, let's go. Let's get the 2200 flight in because I have another plane that I want to mate in the B-21 Raider in the back seat of my car all right okay here we go ready that's no gyro okay so I was a little bit tail heavy because now it's flying perfect Rotor turn, full throttle. Super cool. My son is going to freak out. Look <laughs> at that thrust. Definitely not unlimited vertical, but the Twin 40 is the perfect fit for the Aero Scout. Definitely the best option uh in terms of edf size and placement out of the way you can put skis on it if they're out of the way for the snow um i think do they have floats for it i actually need to learn a little bit more about this guy love it love it love it love it look at that floats <laughs> Stall loop. All right. Beautiful. So cool, guys. All right, well. That was a, uh, a great success, successful flight. So much more fun driving this thing around on the ground. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for watching this video. Um, I am going to put these nacelles up on Colts uh, tonight, uh, hopefully tonight, maybe tomorrow, depending on uh, 
if I have time or not. But uh, yeah, super easy to print. It's literally four pieces. It's split right here. You feed the wires in the front of the nacelle, the, the EDF goes in the front of the nacelle, and then you feed the wires through the back part of the nacelle that has the channel, and then you just super glue the two nacelle halves together, line up the, uh, the flush side, and then uh, super simple, you, you run the wires, and then you pull the EDF out, and you put a little bit of ring of hot glue behind the bell mouth, um, on the front of the uh, the EDF, and then you just squish the uh, the fan in its little little slot, and then it's perfectly strong. It's got plenty of strength, and it looks fantastic. So cool, guys. Well, thanks for watching the video. Uh, hope you like it. Please subscribe because, as I talked about, my son. Uh, if you could just hit the subscribe button, he uh, he's obsessed with the YouTube channel and. He's, uh, he's begging me to get that play button, and I don't think it's ever gonna happen. I'm only a quarter of the way there, but every uh, person that subscribes is gonna help him <laughs> get that. I personally don't care about that, but he is just obsessed, and he wants to have a play button to show his friends. So if you could do that, that'd be great. Um, thank you again for watching the video.